Big time celebrity Chrissy Teigen now getting a taste of the left's cancel culture. Multiple retailers distancing themselves from the former model and pulling her cookware line after several startling accusations of cyberbullying from the past resurfaced. One example, reality star Courtney Stodden claims that the former model sent abusive tweets and direct messages when she was only 16 years old, with one shocking private message where Tegan allegedly told Stodden to commit suicide. Tegan since apologizing for the decades-old online harassment, but Stodden claims she hasn't heard from her directly. Greg, reap meat so. <laughs> it's true. It, it is true. Chrissy Teigen is the truest, truest example of your ability to forgive and that she is so hard to forgive. You have to understand, it's not just about Stoddard. She's this, uh, Tegan is the Susan B. Anthony of cancel culture. She relished punching, <laughs> punching down at anyone. And she, with her millions of followers, she would have them swarm. It just wasn't on a celebrity. She would be, she would happily ruin anybody's day. And remember, she was a model married to a massive s singer who would do this. But she still got off on the power and that power infected her followers who also who enjoyed the entertaining. She was a true mean girl. So that, that's why she's the true test of, of forgiving because I'm, I sh I'm, I'm going to forgive her because I want to see her second act. Will she come to the aid of the next Covington kid or the next Sarah Palin or the next type of person that she would normally swarm? Will she instead defend? Because I'd like to give her a chance and a choice. Amen. Barely. But, but Dana, the, she, uh, she, she's been bitten in the backside by the world that she helped create. Well, yeah, but, and it keeps, and this is an extreme example, but she's quit Twitter more times than somebody that I won't mention who would always quit Twitter and then, then two weeks later be back <laughs> on Twitter. Who could that um, be? They don't, well, let me just say, they don't work at Fox News, but um, they are a uh, commentary yet <laughs> of a person. Anyway. The best thing you could do if you're her, I think, is like get off Twitter. The other thing is that she would always tweet about how busy she is. Yeah. <laughs> you're so busy. Like then, okay, fine. We don't need to be here. And also, last thing on this, <laughs> this whole issue of encouraging someone to kill themselves, very serious, right? Because there is a young woman in jail right now uh, that was yeah. convicted by a jury of her peers when she encouraged her boyfriend to commit suicide, and he did it. And that family now doesn't have, a fa uh, have their loved one. Obviously, that is a terrible and extreme uh, example of how far wrong this can go. I just think that for her, sure, apologize, whatever. But I also think, like, why do you need Twitter? Just don't tweet. Amen. Again, uh, Juan, the issue is, like, people, even if Chrissy Teigen didn't go after someone, if someone criticized her, then like Alison Romans was a food writer at the New York Times who would, just made some comments about how big Chrissy Teigen's like cookware business and her, her food business and book cookbook business got. And she was just cri like cr kind of critical and, and, and kind of on the side. Alison Roman's writing about food, and the New York Times suspended her, and she doesn't even work there anymore. <laughs> they suspended someone who doesn't work there, or, no, she, or they she, fired. They suspended well, her, anyway. and then she left. That was what happened, but it was because okay. of comments oh, about well. Chrissy Teigen. Well, look, I think, you know, look, I, I don't know why the glee in this thing, because clearly what Chrissy Teigen did was wrong. And I think the whole idea of suggesting someone kill themselves, that kind of cyberbullying, it's, it's reprehensible. But I don't think that it, it absolves anybody else. You know, I think, you know, people on the right say, oh, Chrissy Teigen, cancel culture. Well, look, anybody who does that kind of thing, they should be held accountable and they should be condemned. I think that uh, Chrissy Teigen should be punished. So to my mind, that's the bottom line here. I mean, as far as the cancel culture stuff, if she's the queen of it, it's wrong. It's wrong for her. I think it was wrong for GOP to go after Liz Cheney and cancel her. It's much more serious than canceling <laughs> Mr. Potato Head. I tell you that. Yeah, I mean that's just that's just you know it's all she this all this canceled. partisan glee. She, she wasn't it's just canceled. Ridiculous. She's in power. Man, that, that pivot that pivot gave me whiplash, Juan. <laughs>
Uh, Jesse, well, but the good, problem good. the the problem is with Chrissy Teigen is that she went after somebody, anybody, everybody, particularly any anyone who was allied with President Trump. You're a conservative, remember? She was like bye bye beans uh, with the boycott Goya. She told people to boycott Goya because the CEO went to the White House. <laughs> Well, I'm a John Legend fan, so I don't really want to criticize his wife too much, but I will because that's what my job is. So I'll just tell Chrissy to be best, okay? Be best. Don't cyber bully people. Just bully people on TV like I do. I mean, I don't tell people to kill themselves. I just call them corrupt morons who are destroying the country. But it, it is funny that the left's being canceled by the culture that they created. I guess you call it karma, whatever. But a bigger point is that all liberals are saying, you did this. You're a bad person. You did. They're guilty of all that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, they're some of the biggest, nastiest <laughs> people out there. That's the point. So, I mean, am I supposed to feel sorry for Stodden, I guess we're supposed to take her side, but I'm really, I think the true victim is Macy's. I mean, Macy's <laughs> is just trying to sell merchandise and their, and their communication shop is probably up all night, you know, working their tail off on this. I mean, that's really the sad thing here. It's the <laughs> PR people at Macy's and, and Chrissy's not really canceled. It's not like she's a nobody. It's just one product line distributor. She's still rich. She still gets invited to parties. Mm -hmm. So hopefully John Legend doesn't watch this and hate me. Because you're expecting some free tickets. I'm just going to say he's not watching this. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're really busy. Everybody yeah. else is. But. They're really busy. Ba -boom. Right. Straight hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.